Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As I settle into my early 30s as a single man, I realize that compared to 5 or 10 years ago, I'm much less willing to compromise and make sacrifices for another person. Could it be age? Is it just pure selfishness? Or is there also a cultural shift towards individualism in modern relationships? Today, I'm going to explore why I and possibly others may feel less willing and ready to bend for a relationship. First off, I'm a believer in true and real love. I was surprised to learn that there are actually people in this world who don't believe it exists. I've always felt a deep love between my mom and I, so I know this kind of bond is real and something I can experience with a partner. For me, love means sacrifice. This could come from my religious upbringing or the fact that acts of love is one of my top love languages. This quality of mine can come off as a bit intense because it leads to high expectations in relationships. I will expect myself to make sacrifices for my partner, and I will expect my partner to do the same. Not everyone is usually on board with this kind of thinking. But I've noticed that after being single for over a year, I'm more focused on evaluating what I want to do in life and achieving them. The kind of house I want to live in, the kinds of investments I want to make, the kind of lifestyle I want to lead, how I want to raise children. Sure, I've thought about these kinds of things since I was a child, but in my 20s, I always imagined that as I reached my goals, a lot of energy would also go towards my significant other. Now, I don't really see the latter. My energy is focused on my own self-realization. Have I just lost that kind of rosy hope for love? Has time, age, and failed relationships made me a jaded person? One of my favorite TV shows is Schitt's Creek. Spoiler alert! At the end of the last season, the character Alexis finally gets into a wholesome relationship with a vet. She previously had aimless and short relationships with bad boys, but this was sort of that dream-come-true moment where she found a stable, loving partner and developed maturity. However, at the end, they both decided that to pursue their own careers, it was best they break up. He got into a dream program in the Galapagos, and she was going to finally get started in her own career in New York. I found this ending to be very reflective of contemporary views on romance. A lot of modern messaging has been focused on female empowerment, that women shouldn't let a relationship or child-rearing prevent them from personal pursuits. This thinking bleeds into a message for people in general, that one's own personal pursuits should be prioritized over sacrificing for a relationship. I think this is great and a sign that we are advancing as a society, but at the same time, it comes at the cost of community values, lowering the self for the betterment of the whole. People are less willing to compromise for a relationship, for others, and want someone who will add to their lives and support their dreams, not someone who will in any way delay or hinder them. Is this individualism? Or is it self-centeredness? Or both? Perhaps, at this point in my life, I'm at a sort of extreme. I got out of a long-term relationship where I felt I wasn't growing. So now that I'm single, I feel free to explore and pursue projects I didn't have as much time and energy for. A relationship would prevent me from pursuing these projects at the pace I want. While I'm confident I'll balance out again, I wonder if media representations of romance were also reinforcing this desire to value my own pursuits. So, what do you think? Have you noticed this shift in romance towards individualism? Or do you have a different opinion? Let me know in the comments below. And finally, it would mean so much to me if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.